89 children saved, 355 suspects arrested. That's the result of the latest operation in China to crack down on child smugglers. Police in nine provinces, including Fujian, Yunnan, Sichuan, Anhui and Guangdong, took part in the swoop, which began on December the 18th and was months in the preparation. The goal of this operation is to rescue all the abducted children, seize all suspects involved and smash the criminal network. Police are now taking DNA samples to help reunite families thanks to a national DNA database that the ministry says has been put in place to fight against this trade. It's just the latest in a series of similar operations this year. Official statistics give an idea of the size of this illegal industry. Since April 2009 and the crackdown, 11,000 networks have been dismantled and 54,000 children have been saved. Experts say China's one-child policy is behind the crime wave. Introduced in 1979 and limiting all couples to just one child, Beijing estimates it kept 400 million new births from being added to the population in three decades. But it has produced some nasty side effects. Next, we'll cooperate with relevant departments to adopt measures in strengthening the penalty for those who buy abducted children so as to decrease the demand which may lead to child trafficking. It's just another strain being placed on the Chinese family, which is struggling to cope with the pace of change in China. This father's anguish over his missing child is obvious, and there are parents like him up and down the country. As always, the market finds a way to satisfy demand, and there are no signs of change in official birth rate policies.